For the last several years, I've been doing a therapeutic ketogenic diet, which is very high levels of fat, two and a half cups of fat a day, nine cups of low glycemic vegetables. And I've been using that to treat my terminal malignant brain cancer because cancer can only ferment glucose. So I deprive it of glucose and give it plenty of fatty acids and it can't grow or spread or do anything. My name's Allison Gannett and we're here at Holy Terror Farm, which is where I live and work. I have many different hats for occupations. I'm a cancer survivor, a ketogenic diet coach. I'm a world champion extreme skier and a climate change consultant. I also teach women to jump off cliffs for a living. In 2013, uh, I started behaving very strangely and one day I almost burned the house down making bacon. And at that moment, my husband knew that I wasn't just acting bizarrely, that something was truly wrong. He brought me to the emergency room and they found a baseball-sized tumor in my brain and the diagnosis was terminal malignant brain cancer. They rushed me into surgery and said, please sign this paper. I don't even remember signing the paper, nor do I remember them you know, telling me the odds of coming out of a brain surgery that severe were not good. They extracted one baseball-sized tumor out of the front of my brain. You can see the little dent in my head right here. And the scar is actually hidden up here in my hairline. Very nice that they can do that these days. And uh, they did miss another tumor right here by my ear. I call him Junior. And Junior is kind of my barometer. Anytime I want to eat something sugary or carby, I think about Junior as a little Pac-Man. And it keeps me from ever cheating. So a friend of a friend uh, suggested that I get in touch with Dr. Nasha Winters of Optimal Terrain Consulting. Immediately, she put me on the ketogenic diet. So my day will often start with harvesting food out in the garden. And I harvest food for myself, which would be a lot of leafy greens, spinach and chard and kale and things like that. Um, then I'll pick fruits and vegetables for the dogs and the chickens, the pigs. I will always start off my meal with lots of homemade fats. I also use some farm fresh olive oil from California. Stir fry up, I try to get about four cups of uh, low sugar veggies in my meal. This morning I had uh, pumpkin pancakes which were made with fresh eggs and uh, the pumpkin that we harvested this morning. The amazing thing about being on this diet that I never expected is not only is it yummy and delicious, um, but it's had a lot of interesting side effects that I never expected. My polycystic ovarian disease has completely disappeared in two years. Uh, my Hashimoto's thyroiditis was gone in 18 months. My breast fibroids were gone in five months, and those probably would have turned into, they were worried about cancer with those. You know, I make uh, recipes of all my favorite foods that I used to like, like macaroni and cheese and pizza and ice cream and brownies. I figured out how to make all of those um, without sugar. And lakanto has been key for that for me because it's the first non-glycemic sweetener that actually tastes good. When my doctor put me on the ketogenic diet, my first thought was, what do I eat? You know, how do I get all this fat in my diet? And what do I do to replace all the things I love? Like, where's my ice cream? Where's my brownies? Where's my pancakes? And at first, I just deprived myself of all that food, and that wasn't very fun. And then I started playing with some recipes and trying some different alternative sweeteners. I grew stevia and yacon and tried flavoring things with those and they eh, were okay, but it wasn't what I remembered. And then my husband was trying all my recipes and he hated everything. He thought all the sweeteners, he was just like making horrible faces every time I made ice cream. And then one day I ordered Lakanto on the internet and I made ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and I handed it to him 
and he had this big smile on his face and he was like, this is the best ice cream I've ever had. I couldn't believe it. He hadn't liked anything I'd made in over a year and a half. So ever since then, we've used nothing but. I could have my cake, eat it too, cure my brain cancer, and have a brownie and ice cream for lunch every day. I sometimes have ice cream and brownie for breakfast, but I still get my nine cups of veggies in every day. When I help other people with my coaching to have them use the ketogenic diet for cancer or for Alzheimer's or diabetes, it has to be delicious for them in the same way it's delicious for me. So I help them recreate their favorite recipes and having a sweetener that is palatable and yummy and non-glycemic, non-GMO is so important to me and to them. Because without those recipes and those favorite comfort foods, we won't be able to be on the ketogenic and use it to be so therapeutic.